And we don't just pray to my Father in heaven. We pray to our Father in heaven. You know, believe it or not, there's been a lot of ink that's been spilled about that one word in this prayer. Our Father, our. And it's actually really significant because it teaches us that we aren't, you aren't God's only child. God has made you a part of a family, a community of people. We pray to our Father. We say, lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from all evil. One of the things I think that we get here at the very beginning of this prayer is that God intends for us as the people of God to pray for each other. And when we pray, even when it's private, when we go into our closet like Jesus talked about here at the very beginning of this text, even when we're praying by ourselves, we pray for the church. We're a part of God's family, a part of a community. And the reality is, brothers and sisters, we need each other's prayers desperately. And Jesus, when he teaches us how to pray here, he says we pray our Father, he's showing us that we need to be praying for the community, for each other. That even and especially in those moments when we are broken or falling or failing, we need, desperately need, the prayers of our brothers and sisters. And so he taught us every time we pray, when you pray, you pray, plural, our Father, help us. As I had this image in my mind, I was thinking about this this week, I couldn't help but get this image out of my head. You know, you ever seen those, those um, pictures or a video of people who are, who are mountain climbing up a snowy mountain and they're all tied together by a rope. There's a great big line of people, maybe, you know, six or seven people in there. They're basically tied together by a rope. You ever seen that image? Um, it's called a, a rope team. And the reason you do this, right, it makes sense. Like, what happens if one person slips and falls? You know, if if you're roped together, well, then the person who slips and falls, they can be stabilized, they can be helped, they can be supported. Now, if you don't have a rope team or if you have a really small rope team, say just two people and you're climbing up a snowy mountain and one of them slips, well, the likelihood that you're both going down is pretty high, right? Because if you just got one person trying to stabilize the other person, well then, well, then you're in trouble. But if you have a larger rope team of five or six people, well, then you have what's called stopping force. And if, if, if one of the persons slips, well, the, the weight, the stability of the others who are standing will be able to hold that one up. I really believe that in teaching us to pray in this way, Jesus was saying, we need to be roped together. We need to be roped together. When you pray for blessing, for grace, for forgiveness, rope in with you the whole church, the people of God. And know that when you're weak and falling, slipping, that you are roped into a community that prays and prays for us. We pray to our Father.